Hello guys, today I want to show you a new feature released in Laravel 9.49, the latest version at the moment, and showcase wonderful great hard work by Jess Archer, core team member of Laravel. In short, artisan commands will prompt you for arguments instead of throwing errors. But I want to start from another project, which is Laravel Breeze, where Jess started experimenting, kind of experimenting with this wizard approach, and I found out about that when someone submitted a bug report on our package Lara Starters. We have Lara Starters package, which allows you to, if we go to the GitHub, so you can install Laravel project with Tailwind or Bootstrap. So Laravel Breeze or Laravel UI choosing some design themes and have something like this. So our package was broken. And this is a bug report because they added a new flag in Laravel Breeze, which is Breeze install blade. Before you could do artisan breeze install and you cannot do that anymore. Why? Let me show you. I have a fresh new project with Laravel breeze required via composer. But now if I run breeze install, it shows the wizard. So there are options which version of the breeze you want to install. And by default earlier, it had blade as a default option. So you don't need to provide which stack. Now you have to actually provide which one you want to install. So if we click zero or blade, then the wizard continues with more options. Dark mode, no. Test of PHP unit, that's great. Let's skip it for now. And then the installation of the breeze actually happens. So based on this, I found out that Jess is experimenting with that wizard thing. Then I was waiting, eagerly waiting for 949 release of Laravel. Not the breeze anymore, but Laravel core. And let's see what that new version brings to us in forms of wizards. So let's clear it up and let's try to run PHP Artisan make controller. Let's just actually skip all the flags and see what happens. What should the controller be named? For example, post controller, something like this, post controller. Then what type of controller? You wouldn't even know the types. So maybe you know about the API or resource, but did you know about Singleton? You can Google it if you want. So there's Singleton controller. So let's choose the API controller, for example. What model should API controller be for? For the post model. Model does not exist. Do you want to generate it? Yes. And now it's done. So if you go back to the original pull request, and I will link that in the description below, there are more examples of make something commands. And just call that feature CLI prompts. And the goal here is to show prompts instead of the errors. So if we scroll down, there are make model prompts like this, then make listener, make observer and policy, make test, make controller as I've showed you already. So quite a lot of changes. The whole pull request is pretty huge with 17 files changed, but not every day you see a pull request which receives so much overwhelmingly positive reaction from the community. And also I think Jess is underestimating her effort here because as I said, I see it as a wizard specifically for those of us who don't know all the possible options. So you see those options from random tips on Twitter from myself or others. So you think, yeah, cool. I will remember it next time I make a controller or something. But typically you don't remember that feature anymore, especially if it's like a month or two past. And here the Laravel framework itself would prompt you with possible options, would ask you, do you want to generate this and that? And then you just choose from the options. Isn't it cool? So great, great work by Jess. If you want more Laravel news, of course, subscribe to this channel because I will keep shooting daily videos and follow the latest updates of the framework and will tell you all about that. Also, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which will also contain some Laravel news. I send that out every Thursday. The link will be also in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.